<coughs> in order to create uh, in order to uh, implement what bit for search i am we have to create a linked list representation of a queue so there is a already a node is declared so in order to create a queue just declare some function like in queue uh, the return type must be of uh, node type so that we can save their values Thank you. The argument is a uh, queue uh, of struct type. So this is the function prototype for in queuing. It means uh, the saving the values in the queues in their order. Okay, let's uh, declare, define, define the function. Sorry, struct node in queue. And uh, this is the root. Okay. In order to enqueue some value, we have to first take the input from the user to have. For that, we are going to declare some variable name input and initializes to zero. Or no, just declare. Now we are going to print user into the number and then we store the value by scanf. In input variable by using address operator. Okay. We use your while loop while input is not equal to minus one. Until the input value is not minus one, the loop remains continue. What we do here, we again take this thing so that we can terminate the loop. Okay, it's okay. We need some variables of struct. We have to create new node to add in the link list. So we are declaring a new node and a very okay. Now inside this loop, we have to allocate memory to that new node. So in order to allocate memory, we have to use uh, malloc. First of all. Pointer type malloc now size of struct node. This, this is adequate memory of the node how the, on the basis of how many fields are there and what are their data types, and then allocate that moment memory to new node every time when we when this loop occurs when this loop iterate. Okay, now we set the, the variable the value of input now. The next property of this node is set to null here. Okay. If the argument that we pass is null, means if root equals equals null, it means that uh, this is a root node. So how we are going to handle the root node is providing the value of new node to the root node. Okay. And after that, we state that new node the next equals equals sorry equals null. Now we there is no need to do this. So there it is. Okay. After that, for the first time, it is for the root node. If root is null, then we have what we have to do. Every node we are created now have to link from the previous node. So we have to store somewhere the value of the previous node. Uh, for that, we need another. Uh, Another pointer object of type node. So we are going to declare here that so PTR. Okay. Now let's PTR is equals to new node so that the new node value every time is set to the set to the PTR node. So PTR pointer object of node. now we are going to declare that PTR dot next is equals to new node. So that new node is you know the address of the new node is linked by the previous node. So that previous node next property points to the new node. Now new node next is set to null. This is the whole in queuing process. Okay. Now we have to declare uh, one more thing. We are not uh, we have missed the return type here. So we have to return the root node so that uh, when we call the function in queue the root node is returned and the calling function 
save the value of root node so the root node is able to call the another node by pointing to the next field of that root node and then the next field of new node and then next field of the next node and so on so this is the in queue function now we have to define the prototype of dq function so that we can dq some uh, nodes from the queue so this dq struct node dq same argument of this node type now we have to define the function here again we have to take root node now in order to dq first of all we have to remember the concept of queue the member who come first serve first means the member who is first in the list for dequeuing we have to consider that member that particular member who is in first in the list we are not going to think about another members who are in the queue so what we have to do in order to dequeue we have to change our root pointer to first node to the next node okay so what we are going to here do just do this root equals root next what this will do we have the root node which points to the first node now what we are going to do is now the root node points to not points to first node it points to the second node okay this is the dequeuing process of a linked list representation of the queue uh, one more thing we also have written the root node now we have to display the queue first then we go to the breakfast search algorithm so in order to display the queue we have to declare another prototype uh, let's make it a void display it will take an argument of node structure type now we have to define that function void display struct node root node it will take root node as an argument now what we have to do here is to create another uh, point object of node pointer type object of node so that we can uh, iterate it sorry okay so while ptr is not equals to null what we will do we'll print the value PTR next <clears throat> and after that the, we change the pointer to the next one so, it's okay now the display function is also created now let's check the it's working so where's our program it is Let's cut it so that you are not going to be confused by it. Okay. Let's declare a node root which is set to null. Now we call the function in queue and pass the argument. After that, we display the queue. After that, we teach you it. Uh, we also have to save its return type of root node, and we are calling the dequeue here. DQ. Again, we are going to display root node. Okay. Here, I am declaring a variable and initializing is because I want to do the I want that our program remains stop here. So let's uh, debug it. Okay, here's the problem. We have left a bracket here. This is creating problem now. I think it has been solved. Yep. So 
what we have to do here enter the number asking for number for what uh, to in order to create our root node so let's enter the number and again it's going to us now we are in order to end the input process we enter minus one okay that's just what happened What is it? Sorry, we have done a great mistake here. There is no nine next. We have to print data, not the address of that variable. So I'm sorry for that. We we have to print data. Okay. And one more thing that is. It must be of integer. Okay, let's run it now. And let's uh, start this process and let's watch it here. Which is uh, 50, 51, 548, 15, 47, and 84. For the next time, we what happened? Let's look the code. Look at the code. We DQ the uh, DQ. We call that DQ for function. So what it, it does, it uh, removes the first member of the queue, and after that, there is. Let's you watch here the, in the list. There is 51 here. So the queue starts from 51. Okay, this is the whole process.